Yeah, beautiful exhibit and a great facility over there too. Beautiful. All I've heard people talking today is, it's so cold, it's yes. so cold. Yeah. Back to January. <laughs> we should be in the mid 60s and the best we can do today is 46. Mm -hmm. Morning low was 32, so we did freeze in some gardens. And here's the problem it's going to be colder than it was last night tonight. So if you didn't freeze in your neighborhood, as we look at the video of some ducks, this is Utah County looking at the uh, beautiful water, and uh, the ducks seem to mind the cold water. But I'll tell you what, the uh, ducks definitely are enjoying themselves here. All right, so we have this high pressure ridge trying to build in, but it's it's being pushed south by disturbances like this one here and the one that went through that is still producing a few scattered snow showers across parts of northern Utah. We did even see a few lake enhanced snow showers, but as we go forward, we'll definitely see that temperatures are not warming up much. Okay, now we're up to 47. That's the warmest we've been all day long. Ogden with a few snow showers right in the neighborhood. 43 and it's 41 in Logan. Cold day today and the winds gusting as high as 40 or pardon me, 30 miles per hour in parts of the Salt Lake Valley. They did hit uh, 58 miles per hour last night in Lehigh when the front went through. 36 in Great Falls, some snow falling across the northern Rockies. Denver is 50, we are 47, Boise is 54. Here's the warm air. San Francisco is 67 and some warm air coming our way. It's going to take some time. However, the problem is it's still very, very cold and the sky's clear tonight as these clouds go away. Temperatures are going to drop and they are going to drop significantly. We're talking about below freezing in most areas. As we look at the forecast, the high pressure ridge trying to build in. It'll take some time, but eventually by Saturday and Sunday, it starts to build just a little bit higher. This low pressure over here is going to pull up tropical moisture and we're going to have a convergence zone, but it will wait until Monday. Sunday afternoon, increasing clouds, but it should be a good day for mother. Freeze warning tonight over much of western Utah. Cold temperatures, you're looking at 26 in Vernal, 29 in Salt Lake City, some of the suburbs in the mid 20s. Definitely going to be cold later tonight. All right, the next seven days, Cache Valley, big warm up Saturday, Sunday, and then chance for a shower and a thunder shower on Monday and Tuesday as the next storm system moves in. But as I promised, Mother's Day, Hey, not too bad. 60 on the Wasatch back. Those showers and thunder showers mixed with or even turning over to snow on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's cold. Price will be at 62, 73 though on Saturday and Sunday, 72. Showers, it looks like this storm moving in on Monday and uh, lingering into Tuesday and probably Wednesday across eastern Utah. The basin, look at this, 26 tonight for the folks in La Pointe and uh, possibly even colder than that in, um, down in Naples and uh, of course in Jensen could be colder than that 81 that's the high temperature for Moab if you have a weekend planned for Moab you planned well because a few thunder showers will develop in colder weather early next week so great weekend for Mother's Day in Moab arches and Canyonlands showers develop Monday but three days of spectacular weather for Cedar City and for St. George Mother's Day 84 and sunshine few showers and thunder showers we're dropping we are dropping big time below 10 degrees below normal for this time of the year here's the look for salt lake city ogden and provo we mentioned that 29 tonight 31 for tomorrow night so another cold night but uh, both saturday and sunday in the upper 60s we usually tell people not to plant until after mother's day well yeah. well here we are at mother's day <laughs> so if you planted it's your problem tonight right, right. so wait until okay. after mother's day yeah thanks dan you're welcome